Valentine's Day is a little over a week away. Now that's a reminder for all of you who celebrate with cards, chocolates, or flowers. But books also make a great gift for loved ones. Wayne Button, our book reviewer, is here to tell us about a romance novel this morning. It's called Violet's Storm and is written by Lab West author Tanya Benoit. Good morning. Good morning, Janet. How are you doing today? I'm not too bad. You know, in all of our conversations about books, I don't think you've ever reviewed a romance novel for us. No, it's true. It's definitely not my forte. But, uh, you know, a couple of things, you know, my my wife keeps telling me I have to keep it diverse for the listeners. So I said, all right, I will do a romance novel, but I have two rules. I'm going to do it close to Valentine's Day. And if I am going to do it, I'm going to do someone local, and I'll do a Tanya Benoit book and uh, see how it goes. <laughs> Now, Tanya has a few books as part of this series. So what is Violet Storm about? Yeah, Violet Storm is about two families set in the 1800s in Ireland, and the Brady, sorry, the Kellys and the Ryans. And both families have a very big, you know, iconic hold on transportation and the shipping industry in Ireland. And they decide to come together and merge as a business decision. Now they want to leave, a, you know, a good, um, good company left over for their heirs of the company. So with the, you know, uh, the Kelly family, we have Brady. Brady uh, is, you know, polar opposite of his father. He doesn't want nothing to do with the company at all. Where Violet Ryan is exact opposite. She wants more respect from her father about the company. And what happens is, you know, the families come together to celebrate, and these two meet. And unfortunately, the celebration is ruined by a tragic murder of someone in the family. And essentially, they try to get revenge on each other. So what happens is Brady Kelly takes Violet Ryan hostage and in an isolated cottage for multiple weeks. And as you read, they're polar opposites. But as we see as they come together, things aren't always as they seem. And we start to see that maybe there's more there than just hatred between the two. It doesn't sound overly romantic, or at least you're not hitting on the romance notes this morning there, Wayne. Would you say that this book is only for people who like that genre? Yeah, I'm purposely taking a little winding away from the, you know, more adult-like content. But no, it's it's definitely for people who probably uh, aren't into romance. It, it wasn't overly Fifty Shades Grey. I'd say it was more like Ten Shades Grey kind of reading. And uh, that was fine by me because I'm not overly into romance. But it has much more things that might interest people. I mean, for one, there's a murder, and the whole time you spend the book trying to figure out who did it. Uh, there's some rivalry between brothers about uh, company loyalty, and there's about companies trying to come together and create an iconic, uh, you know, business in uh, Ireland. There's some history there because it takes place in 1800 Ireland. So there is different things that may pique people's interest who maybe they're not interested in a romance novel. This is something that may, you know, allude to someone who might want to read that. So Wayne, aside from the genre, the romance, the Ten Shades of Grey, as you said. <laughs> What's it like reading a book that's written by someone that you actually know? Yeah, it's really cool. I mean, it, it, in a couple of different ways. I mean, a lot of times when you read a bestseller, uh, you know, someone you don't know who's a stranger, you'll read it and you'll have thoughts about why they made choices they did. But I know Tanya, so I actually was able to talk to her and ask her about some of the choices she made. You know, why Ireland? You know, why did you pick these characters? You know, why did you go this route? And it was really good. It made the book a little bit more interesting to me to understand the, the choices that the author made. The second reason as well is, you know, a lot of times when we know somebody, you know, you might know them in a personal life, but you might look at them the same way in a professional sense. And uh, that's kind of what happened here. But it was in a good way, you know, because if you take Tanya's name off the list, Uh, on the on the book, it's very professional writing. I mean, it totally could be someone that's a stranger and a bestseller. It's not amateur writing per se, uh, even though it's someone here locally in Lab West, and and that's something that really impressed me because I didn't know that side of her. So, uh, it's really good to read a book from someone that you know, and like I said, you can ask questions and reach out. To